Hi, my name is Tim Drake. I'm here at Kim Ready, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about um, wastewater, and in particular, coagulation and flocculation. Um, if you're not familiar with coagulation and flocculation, it's really a two-step process uh, by which you treat wastewater and produce clear water, much like you would see uh, in any wastewater treatment plant in, uh, or drinking water plant. So ultimately, coagulation is typically the first step of this process. I like to think of it in very simple terms. Coagulation gives you clarity. Flocculation gives you settling ability. So coagulation is the first step in that process. It also um, is done by um, basically adding a chemical that is known as a coagulant. So the coagulant uh, neutralizes the charge of that sus uh, suspended particles. These are typically very fine particles, causing them to clump together, as well as uh, increase the destabilization of that charge density within that water. Flocculation is the second step. So now we've got these small particles that are slightly bigger but not quite heavy enough to settle. So then we can attack that with a flocculant. That flocculant is long and stringy. Um, it will grab up all those smaller particles, make them into a large particulate uh, or flock, if you will. And that flock, as it gets to a certain mass and size, will then start to settle and make them easier to remove for wastewater. So that's the basics of coagulation and flocculation. The most common coagulants uh, used in uh, wastewater are typically alum, ferric chloride, polyaluminum chlorides. You can also get polyamines or polydadmax. These ultimately go in and neutralize that charge and destabilize that matrix of particles that are suspended in the solution. The amount of coagulant needed depends certainly on the amount of impurities in that water, um, requiring it to basically increase or decrease depending on how much is in there. Flocculants are typically long uh, polymeric chains with lots of charge density on them. And based on that length and charge density, they will also have differing impacts on those particulates as they're in that water and suspended uh, and removed during the coagulation step. With that, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and learn more about coagulations and flocculation uh, as you uh, continue to work on your wastewater project. Thank <laughs> you.